So my profile just has sometimes I like yoga and sometimes I like wine. I'm basically lying about yoga, I just like wine. <laughs> Hey, we are Tinder's most popular singles. Here's how we take our matches from DM to date. I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I wouldn't be nervous on a first date. I'm all about like going from a DM to a date quite quickly. If it doesn't go any further from a week of chatting, then I'll probably ghost them. Hi, I'm Jessie, and I dated 52 women in 52 weeks last year. In all fairness, I pay for most of them. Okay, I'll be honest, when there is a 10 out of 10, I have to message them first because I can't let that ship sail. Hi, I'm Ella Morgan and I've been on over 100 Tinder dates. And most of them were fit, just in case you're wondering. I'll put princess emoji, that's the colour of their hair, a rose emoji, and maybe a star, and it always gets a good reaction. Hi, I'm Peter and I've never been ghosted. But I'm a big believer in, you know, shoot your shot. It doesn't have to be the boy going first. You know, 2019, everyone can do what they like. I show my interest, I send an emoji, like the eyes emoji. I know it's a bit creepy, but yeah. Hey, I'm Chanel. I'm a strong believer in if you really like something, don't hold back. I ask, what's your example of a perfect morning? Most of the times guys message me back and it's either really creepy or really romantic. If I'm stumped for words, I just go for like a, uh, a funny gif. The pug waving his hand is, is pretty funny, always goes down well. He just sits there and he goes like that. Like. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dara and I once brought an Excel PowerPoint presentation on a first date. So I was thinking when better to show off my good Excel skills and making a PowerPoint presentation. Somewhere in my bio it says that I'm a law student. So some of the best opening messages that I've gotten have all been like law related pickup lines. Hi, I'm Michelle and I have never messaged someone first on Tinder. Um, don't worry, I have no problem sustaining an objection. Because objection, yeah, you get it. So my profile just has sometimes I like yoga and sometimes I like wine. I'm basically lying about yoga, I just like wine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane, I always go with the flow on dates. It's probably my whole mantra to my entire life. Sometimes I've had a guy that just messaged me back in memes. That was kind of funny, but I definitely wasn't gonna date him. <laughs> One of the biggest off-putting things is if someone starts getting sexual with you via text and you've not even met them. Uh... Hi, my name's Paris and I'm currently dating multiple people and half of them at least from Tinder. So if I'm chatting to somebody on Tinder, I think it's to sort of hint at a place that you enjoy going to and then hopefully they'll ask to come with you and make you their tour guide. My uh, date rule is that if someone's going to take me on a date, they have to have a phone call with me before. I always try and find out if they drive as well. I know that's a bit weird, but I need to know that I'm not the taxi. I think the worst date idea would be a morning date. I mean, they sound great and all, and like it's cute, but when you start ordering Bloody Marys at say 9, 10 in the morning, sometimes it doesn't make the best first impression. Uh, my idea hell would be a day to the cinema. Uh, oh, okay, going to see a family member. <laughs> Which has been done before. He wanted me to go to his friend's memorial with him. It's just a little bit too in invested and a bit too personal. Uh, uh. I hate going on a dinner date and feeling like I'm at an interview. There's nothing worse. Uh, I want to go go-karting, I want to do rock climbing, I want to do something fun where I can actually get to know someone. I would never go on this kind of date, especially involving chopsticks now. Oh god, oh god. Take me to Frankie and Benny's where I can use a knife and fork. Oh god, I've been on like loads of different kinds of dates. The best one 
still to this day was an adventure room and then we had to obviously try and work together to get out of a room. Paintballing or going to a museum. I really like going to bounce, ping pong, drinking games. It's, it's a great combination for a first date. My go-to is always the Froyo place and that's ideal first date. You go there and make the same joke every time. Like, the girls in that place hate me. I always like avoid certain foods. I sit down the side of a girl's car once. So I ordered a bottle of Prosecco for us to share, ended up drinking a whole bottle of Prosecco, and I had like three starters that were all red sauce based. And she had a white car and was not drinking, was driving me home. So don't drink on a first date. No, just drink in moderation. I usually avoid the needles. I do try. <laughs> it's my left hand. The concentration is so real. I tend to ring ahead if I'm going on a first date. Mainly so that the waitresses and waiters don't drop me in it for the girl that I took there last week. But also, if I need to do a little backdoor shuffle, then they will assist me. I think this is a go-to for a lot of girls. I think you girls can all agree with me. I just decided I was going to play some music on my phone, pretend it was my ringtone, answer it and have a conversation with myself. Oh, your dogs have escaped. Work's really busy and we need you to come in. Sorry. Mum? Oh, no. If you want to match with me or perhaps somebody else from the video, click the link below. Just mainly me. You just want to click on the link. And if you guys like what you saw, which I know you would have done, hello, then please subscribe to Cosmo UK.